This is the female pelvic steady region steady. And uh, what we are seeing now is a uterus in a longitudinal section with the urinary bladder anteriorly and align the uterus with the vagina I have. This is the urinary bladder. This is the anterior wall of the uterus, the fundus, the posterior, the wall. This is the cervix region, the cervical canal, the vagina. So, and this is the endometrial canal, this area. This small black area is representative of fluid in the pelvic sac, like pelvic cavity. Now, in transverse region, in transverse section, sorry, <coughs> we see uterus in secretory phase or mid-cycle. Let's see. Let me concentrate on the uterus at present and not on the pathology. When you are doing the ultrasound, first focus on the area where you are <coughs> seeing and then later on go towards the pathology. Now the uterus measures 4.2, normal is up to 50 millimeters, this is 42 millimeters, is normal. Now this is the endometrial canal. This, this is the anterior myometrium, this is the posterior and the it may 10.7. So it is in the mid-cycle and the flu that we have seen that we did saw is the post ovulatory fluid. This fluid is of not PID uh, or because of any other region. You can see that this I have already mentioned the mid cycle endometrial canal, how it appears as. It's a typical appearance of a mid cycle endometrial canal. You see a thin thread like linear structure and surrounded by equigenic uh, uh, areas and a small amount of fluid within it. So this is the endometrial canal, this is the myometrium, posterior, anterior, fundal region, cervix, no focal layers in relating to the myometrium and the uterus myers. This is a magnified view, remember, 7.3 centimeters in length and uh, 4.0 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. So this is a 33 years old female oh my, normal with normal dimensions of the uterus. So there is no pathology relating to the uterus. It's in the mid cycle and that's the reason for the flu that we uh, saw. Now in the region of the left at the next you uh, see a mass. This is cystic as well as solid. With posterior wall acoustic enhancement. This is the yeah. Now this is the mass in the region of the right I'm sorry, in the region of the left head nexa, this is the uterus. With this being the endometrial canal. And this being the urinary bladder, this area. This is the transfer section. <coughs> you see there uh, now in this is measuring 4.1 centimeters by 3.7 centimeters ill-defined echogenic areas in it and uh, with cystic areas in the, within it. You see it's mainly echogenic and its uh, brightness is equal to that of the uterine, uh, uterine myometrium. It's uh, almost full of uh, uh, mid-level echogenicity with intersepared cystic areas. And it is in the region of the left head nexa. Uh, 
there are no calcifications within it, no, neither marginal nor internal, and as such, uh, we do not see significant uh, amount of uh, solid element within it. Now, there is fluid in this region posterior to this mass. This, this is the fluid. Now, this fluid is suggestive of being uh, this uh, mass being of infective in nature. This is the fluid where the it's blinking. Posterior is posterior to this mass in the region of the left head next side. Now, let's. Uh, focus on the mass only, cystic area, magnify it, and here we are. Now I'm going to give a sweep to the probe. I have given almost full sweep to the probe. Now you are seeing it in the region of the right and next up. And you see that it is thick wall. This is the thick wall of the cyst. And this is the fluid compartment almost uh, seen in the center and we saw that the cyst did not change its uh, shape when I gave the full sweep to the probe. So this uh, and you, within this cystic area you can see there are tiny septa, thin and thick, no calcification, no solid element uh, and no debris seen within the cystic area. So this is a uh, left at an exit cystic area with few posterior to it having it's an uh, echogenic uh, solid area sorry cystic area within it and you can see septa within this cystic compartment of this uh, echogenic mass now what about the posterior wall acoustic enhancement? How much of the acoustic enhancement are we seeing in this case? Now there is not much of the, there, there is no significant amount of posterior wall acoustic enhancement. This is the area of study, this is the cystic mass. And uh, here, we see small amount of fluid within the pelvic cavity as well and posterior to the uh, cystic mass and as well as posterior to this. This is the fluid uh, and the pelvic cavity and this is the fluid posterior to this uh, epogenic mass with cystic compartments containing uh, Septals with a print and okay. And this fluid, this fluid is suggestive of post ovulatory fluid, keeping in view the uh, endometrial canal is in mid cycle. Now, this is the right ovary, this one, this is the right ovary with follicles within it. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a case of uh, left adnexal tubo ovarian mass with internal cystic areas and will require further investigation. Now see that uh, this is the endometrial canal, this is the uterus myometrium and this is the cystic area, the ecogenic area within it, it's in fact a cystic area with the solid element, a little ecogenic areas at, in its anterior compartment in this view and the fluid compartment posteriorly with thin tiny septa within it. This is the posterior myometry, this area. This is small amount of fluid posterior to this thick wall. It measures 3.7 and this is the 
urinary bladder in transfer section. Now this is the transfer section of the uterus. This is the left atrial axial mass. This is the uterus. Okay. And uh, this is the endometrial canal. And this is the urinary bladder in transfer section. This is the transfer section of the pelvis magnified view. And uh, this is our case of the day.